we got any messages? No messages yet. Can everyone hear us all right? Ah, Bruno. If someone can let us know they can hear us. Ah, oh, brilliant. You can hear us. Great. It's good. Lovely. We'll wait for a few more join then. We'll... We've got more people yeah, joining. So. Perfect. So you can hear us, you can see us. So that's good. good um, we can see we've got some people <laughs> going. So we'll say some introductions. So I'm Tracy. Um, I look after all of our properties in Nottingham for Hello Student. And this is Chantelle. And Chantelle looks after the frontage, which is the property we're going to view today. Uh, Chantal will be here to welcome you all if you decide to live with us. She'll be here to um, feed you pizza. She does yeah. lots of parties, Love lots pizza. of events. Um, and also if you've got any issues in your room, something that might need fixing, something that you're not sure how to use, um, Chantal's the genius, so she'll tell you everything there. Um, so we're going to start with showing you around our building. Um, see all the rooms that we've got. We're going to start with the social areas, um, which is the shared spaces that you can come to with your friends. Um, and then we'll go and take a look at some of the rooms. If that's all right with you guys. So we're here in the frontage and this is the cinema room is our first room. We can see big Marilyn Monroe behind us right now. Look, um, we've got some more. So I'm just going to spin the camera around for you. Hopefully you can see all of this. Um, so it's a really large open space. Uh, we've got air conditioning here in this room. Um, we've got surround sound. You can see the speakers all over in here as well. So lots of people sometimes don't even watch movies in here. Maybe they'll come in here and just play music um, because it's sound, soundproofed and sound protected so the rest of the building can't hear it. Um, we've also got a projector as well so you can bring your laptop down and you can plug it in and you can put whatever you like on on the screen any film at all any films, yeah. uh, we've had people do zumba in here and all sorts so you can just move these bean bags out the way you can bring some more furniture in if you've got a larger party you can and also it's... book it out if you if you wish to yeah so. so it can be private as well so that's our cinema room how does that hopefully that looks good for everyone um something to do um so for those fitness people amongst us we're going to head to the gym so just bear with us while we have a walk around and again i'll spin you around so you can see our building as we go through so all of these doors are security locked as well so that you've got access from so people can't just walk in everywhere's secure um and private for you thanks for that. So, the gym not being used at the moment is empty at the minute um if like me you're allergic to a gym i completely sympathize but there are some fitness people amongst us that do like a workout so we do have plenty of equipment around here uh, again if you're not sure how to use any of these or you want some help Chantelle's our expert <laughs> lots of equipment for you And just as the cinema is, these rooms are accessible to anyone that lives here 24 hours a day. Um, you, no need to book the gym out. Uh, it doesn't get super busy, um, except maybe after Christmas when everyone's trying to get rid of the Christmas dinner and the turkey dinner. But apart from that, uh, we've got TV so you can put your music on if you've not got your um, earphones with you. Uh, there's a water machine over there in the corner as well, so you've got some nice fresh cold water while you're working out. Okay, so we'll carry on Let's through. Laundry, shall we? Laundry is always good, yes. Yeah. So, no excuses, guys, to take your washing home. You have your own laundry here in the building as well. Um, so, Mum will be pleased because you don't need to take anything home. And we will tell her that you've got laundry. <laughs> <laughs> so, this is our laundry. Again, 24-hour access. Uh, we've got washers and dryers. They are all card operated, so you don't need any coins. They all indicate on there how long runtime you've got. So you can put your washing in, you can set your time on your phone and just come back when 
when he's going to be ready. Um, the room's got instructions everywhere. So again, if you're unsure what to do with the instructions or speak to our guru Shantel. Because we have her do all our washing for us as well. <laughs> right, we'll head through to the common room. So the common room is really large, really big space. Um, and we've got lots of different areas, sort of different pockets that you can use with your friends for different things. Um, so there are some public toilets here as well. So again, if your friends are here and you don't want them going up and down stairs and into your private bathroom, we've got public toilets that they can use. Um, All me. the posts are welcome to the reception. Post, yeah, so, let's do post while yeah. we're passing. Well, well remember Chantel. So if you have any mail coming to site, this is your mailbox. Again, you can access that anytime you want and we will put in there any parcels or mail that fit. Um, if it's too big or too large for the mailbox or it's a special delivery of some kind, then we'll keep it at reception and we notify you on, the, on our app that we've received it. So you'll get a notification, you come down with a reference number and we give you that parcel. It's very simple. Um, but it also means that it's convenient for you, for all your mail. Shall we go into the study rooms first, I think? Should we do the common room? Let's do the common room. So you can see this is a really, really large space. There's lots of different seating areas. So you can use this just to chill with your friends, just to have a chat. You could use this to um, study or you could use it to socialise as well. So lots of people just sit, play games. Um, talking of games, on this side is we have more. On this side, we've got lots of games to choose from. So over here, we've got the darts board. Let's open that up. Obviously, yeah, we do move the furniture out of the way. You wouldn't want to be sitting in that seat while we're playing darts. Um, but we do have the darts board and darts available. Um, again, more seating areas for everybody to sit and watch and see how good or how bad you might be. Then we've got the table tennis. Uh, there's table football. And the latest addition at the frontage is the pool table, which is just down here in an area that we like to call the snug. Because um, it's literally that. It's a nice, small area where your friends can all sit with you and you can all see who's the best pool, pool player. So lots to do. You have no excuses to be sat in your room all day. Studying's good, but remember to take a break and you've got lots of areas where you can take a break. But if we're on the line of studying, and you need a bit more space or you just want to change of scenery we do have two quiet rooms that we call the study rooms um, so there is an option of two and again if you've got group work or you just i know architects amongst us they need lots of space to make their projects uh, let me spin this round again there we go we have these quiet study rooms and that's exactly what these are meant for um, so you've got a whiteboard there as well. If we've got any group work to be done, plenty of plug sockets around in here for any work or anything that you might need to plug in. And it's just a small, quiet room for, for study purposes, really. And there's two of these. So again, plenty of options. There's more. Don't go away. Don't go away. There is more. So this is, is I say, the common space that we're in. And as we carry on through, we've actually got a social kitchen area. So for those budding chefs amongst you, like to, like to try your hand at a bit of cooking and a bit of socialising. I'm just going to turn that telly down as well. Yeah. So can, thanks, Chantal. We've got a social kitchen area. Uh, we've got microwaves, fridges, ovens, um, a nice big communal table for you all to eat at maybe if you don't like cooking and it's just a takeaway after a night out because you don't feel like it but you don't want your bedroom to smell of pizza the next morning mm -hmm. so you decide to eat it down here it all helps the reason I'm a little bit echoey is we've got this lovely beautiful high ceiling with all these lights around so it's a lovely space to sit and go okay, again sit and eat and socialize 
Here we go. Okay, so that's our social space. I'm going to get Chantal yep. in shut down. <laughs> so that's our social space. Um, what we'd like to show you now is some of the rooms. So when you, you don't want to mix and you just want some time on your own or you've got lots of studying to do, um, obviously this is the place that you're going to be. Now we are going to go in the lift, guys. Uh, we have two lifts, two elevators here at the frontage. Um, it might lose connection. If it does, I will try and get straight back on as soon as we can. Um, but the floor we're going to is on the fourth floor, so too many stairs for me. Um, so we'll give it a try in the lift. If we can keep you, we will. Um, if we can't, we'll meet you up there. Okay, so bear with us. Let's see how far we can get. Thanks. So, two elevators, um, four sets of stairs. So if you don't feel like the gym, you could just take the stairs. Uh, that would be enough to keep. be enough to keep you fit for sure. Um, in terms of walking and fitness, the frontage location is right in the city centre. Are we on? I'm hoping we're on. Sorry if we lost you slightly. I think we might be back on. Um, one good thing: the Wi-Fi is great just not in the elevators. Um, and the Wi-Fi is, is accessible, again, everywhere throughout the building. As you can see, I'm walking around everywhere um, and you've got Wi-Fi everywhere. But location-wise, um, we've got everything on the doorstep, bars, cafes, and I do mean the doorstep. Literally, you walk out of our front door at the front edge and you are in Nottingham city centre. Okay, so I'm gonna ask Chantal just to explain this room for me a little bit because um, she knows the rooms better than me. Uh, so let me pop you, pop you over to Chantal a sec. Hello, everybody. So this is our classic smaller studio, um, and this is a cityscape view. So let me just quickly show you the view. So this one is on the front of our building. So you can see all the buildings outside. And this is on the fourth floor. And then in your bedroom, all our bedrooms are exactly the same interior. It's only the floor space that changes. Um, so you've got your desk area with your drawers at the side. So you've got a lot of space in them. And then in your bed, you have storage underneath too with these drawers. So as well, a lot of space again. In terms of storage as well, it's worth mentioning we've got the trunk room. So for the larger yeah. suitcases and things that you don't want in your bedroom, you can get down in the trunk room. Yeah. So any any things that you don't want out in your bedroom, mm -hmm. you can store it in our trunk room. Mm -hmm. Um in this one, the breakfast bar is facing this way. So you and you've got your TV, TV. yeah. TV. That's the best view. So that is that. And then the bathroom is just through this door here. And you've got your full length mirror as well. Which us ladies love to have. <laughs> and we're doing our hair and makeup. Okay, so this is the bathroom. Just show you around a little bit. And then this is your shower. Something I love about our bathrooms is that they're really easy clean. So you're not spending all of your time trying to keep the bathroom and a toilet clean. It's so easy to just wipe down and go. It's very wide, very clean. It's just, yeah. Just easy clean bathrooms. So you can spend your time either enjoying yourself here or studying. You're not <laughs> wasting your time cleaning. And then, um, if you like cooking, we have our kitchen area. Shall I, shall I model? Yeah, you model. Okay, so <laughs> yeah, you've got your combination microwave oven. So what that means is it does both. So it will cook as an oven would. So you could roast a chicken, for example, and brown the outside. Um, but it will also work as a microwave if you choose the correct options for it, where it will just warm items of food up or defrost them, the same way as a microwave would. So really handy piece of kit. And again, if you are confused of how to use it, you can just come down to reception and ask us and we can show you um, some that's trying to get the settings is kind of, yeah, sometimes yeah. can be a bit hard, you know, when you've not done it before. Um, so our four ring hub, I think is very important. Um, a lot of places just have two. So I think having four is a lot better. And then just in here, we've got our fridge. 
and then a freezer on top and then you've got all your cupboard space lots of storage and then if we go to the next one so more storage for you and then we've got a cupboard underneath the sink as well with a bin so you can put your rubbish in there I love these as well. I think these are a great else? design. So you've got your yeah, coat hangers. So you can have your coat hooks here so that's not filling up your wardrobe with all your winter coats because guys it does get cold here in the winter. So remember your winter coats wherever you might be coming from. And then you've got your intercom. Now your intercom really is just for your friends if they're coming to visit, they'll buzz you from downstairs at the main entrance. You can't let them in from here. Um it's a security feature, so we did purposely turn that off to make sure you're safe what you can do is talk to your friend and say hi i'm in and i'll come down and let you in so we know you're letting the correct people into the building and and you're looking after them as well so um it's handy for them so they're not on the phone all the time but at least they can buzz and see if you're in okay anything else that i think that's i think that's about rooms. it yeah um as chantal mentioned earlier it's we do have various size rooms um our availability is getting somewhat Slim, so, yeah. yeah. Um, so room sizes wise. Room sizes. So um I'll start from there. Yeah, it's on there. Is it on you? Yeah, you went on you. Okay, so the biggest room that we've got available is um a classic bigger studio and this is twenty one to twenty four meter squared approximately. Um so, the so that's not big in the one. room is the same as what yeah, we've seen. Yeah, so the today. interior is the same. It's just the floor space that changes. So you get more space. So you get more around. space. So I suppose people may be doing um, art, art and design. Yeah, they're um, going to need that extra, that that extra, extra space. space yeah. So you need a little bit more. Um, so yeah, maybe think about what you might need in terms of space for your courses and what size room you want to go for. Um, but there's lots of things you can ask when it comes to booking. So if you want to go. Go ahead and book one of our rooms. It'll be U Homes that you contact. Contact the guys over at U Homes. Um, they'll put, put you in touch with everything that we've got available. We can help out with things like, um, and the U Homes guys will do this for you as well, um, helping you pick the specific room you want. So that could be anything down to, like we've mentioned, what size you want, what view you want, what floor space you want. Obviously, his availability gets limited. That gets more difficult to be able to meet. So my best advice to you guys is to not leave it too long uh, if you've got lots of requests. If you don't mind anything and you just want to live with us, um, then that's that's great. You know, I'm sure we can help you in any time. But at the moment, yeah, if you've got some requests and you want some specific things from your room, from your new home, then do get in touch with us soon. It'll get in touch with you homes um, and they'll help you with anything, anything that you've got in terms of picking the right room and making that booking with us so that we can um, welcome you here to your new home. So I think that's, I think that's it for us. Then, yeah. Hopefully it's helped. Um, I'm not sure if we've just rambled down a lot <laughs> and I'm really sorry if you guys have had lots and lots of questions um, that we've not been able to answer or that we've not covered. Um, again, if we've missed anything, you've got anything specific, get in touch with you homes, let them know what your questions are. Um, we can help them to answer those questions as well. And hopefully, hopefully, we will see you here in Nottingham at the frontage for September academic year. Someone's just said, any room except dual occupancy? Oh, do we, do we accept, do we accept dual, dual occupancy? occupancy? Yes. yes, we do. Yes, we do accept dual occupancy, yes. Um, the beds are, bed sizes are three, three quarter, quarter, which is six feet, six foot long. Uh, it's a small, small double, isn't it? It's called a small, small double. double. So two people can sleep in that ample. Um, might mean a little cuddle now and again, which I'm sure is not a bad thing. Um, but no, it's nice. It's, it's, and again, we'd probably suggest that you go for something a little bit bigger, just so that you've got that bit more floor space between the two of you. Um, but we do accept dual occupancy. There's a, a very small, and I do mean small, charge for that, which literally only covers the extra utilities that you might be using. Because um, obviously two people would use a lot more gas and electricity than one. Uh, but apart from that, you'll find that obviously if you can half the rent, it will work out even better. I think that's it for questions for now. Think that's well. it so, for yeah. questions. Oh, perfect. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Um, we'll take care. And again, hopefully we'll see you soon. Thank you. See you soon.